Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Larry's Country Diner. We've got a great show for you today, and I want you to stick around. It'll, it'll be over before you know it, because you're going to have so much fun. Go for Right it. now, I want to introduce you to the only man I know who deep fries his sardines. Right. He does. Here's Larry, our fearless leader. I hate raw sardines. I know. I need to put them on the grill. Well, they come crammed in that little thing. Mm -hmm. I used to eat those things when I was a kid. I can't stand sardines? them now. Yeah. I, somebody told me at one point that there is no such animal as a sardine. Really? Any small fish like that, they call it a sardine and throw it in that can. Well, they look pretty uniform in the can. Huh? <laughs> Smear a little mustard and on a cracker and whoo! That's good stuff. Yeah, with a side of Spam. Yeah, healthy eating there. Who said who? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, time for the promise. Yes. It's going to be a yeller promise today. A yeller. Yeller? Yeller. Yeah, I was thinking I, as he did his thumb, there and my go. thumb is fine. It's been sanitized. Contaminating the bread again. I sucked it earlier today. <laughs> they all have the same Lord who generously give his riches to all who ask for them. Hmm. They all have the same Lord who generously give his riches to all who ask for them. I like that. That's you a good promise. That, you just want to take. That's right. <laughs> Want my share, Lord. <laughs> Where's them riches? That's Romans 10, 12. And on the back side of this yellowing is uh, John 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become sons of God, even to them that believed on his name. There you go. I like them promises. Yeah. I was, I thought this morning when I woke up about, you've been in radio for a long time. Yeah. Did you ever have somebody tell you it's not Monday, it's Monday? No, never, never had a problem Monday with that one. Monday is a U, M-U-N-D-A-Y. Yeah, I, I agree. And it, one of the program directors was Stickler. It's not Monday, it's Monday. But also it's not pen, it's pen. Yeah. It's a safety pen. It's a ballpoint pen. I go on Google and, and listen to the pronunciations. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm amazed how many times I've And is that. there an R in washcloth? Uh, some people pronounce it that way. Wash. Especially if you're from Cookville, right, Jay? <laughs> Get that washcloth there. I need to wipe my face. So today's Thursday. How do you say what? Thursday. Thursday? Today's Thursday. That's right. What about February? Oh, yeah, that's weird. It's spelled, and you, don't, you never say that you in it. February. Yeah. I used to go Feb. <laughs> you would. I would. <laughs> Little girl became restless as the preacher's sermon dragged on and on. Finally, she leaned over to her mother and whispered, Mommy, if we give him some money now, do you think he'll let us go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've thought that two or three times. Mr. Hoot is with us. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Brother Jake. All right, Jake, you are a missionary's kid, right? Yes, sir. Raised in the Dominican Republic? Yes, sir. 11 years. Wow. Yes, sir. So is English a second language for you? Well, no, it's, uh, I mean, I'm still trying to learn English, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but no, we, I think I was about eight when we moved down there and then I moved back to go to college and everything at Tennessee Tech, but um, it was a great way to grow up. Yeah. I'm a preacher's kid, so I, I understand some of that. Yes, sir. I can we barely just, speak English. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> That's because I went to a Pentecostal church. There you go. We don't do a lot of speaking English here. Can you spell, <laughs> can you spell <laughs> hallelujah? No, but I can spell Pascagoula. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hallelujah is a tough one to spell. It is. Can you spell it? I, no, I, not without spell check. No. <laughs> <laughs> spell check could get you in trouble. That's mm -hmm. true. It, it will. Well, I've already said hello to Jake Hoot. I think we'll just go ahead and jump into a song, if that's okay with you. Yes, sir. And then we'll talk about you and about your lovely bride over here. Yes, sir. Of how, how long have you guys been married? Well, we're just, we're just dating. We've been dating for a little while. <laughs> uh, but I hope to be marrying her before too long. So 
I can't give her any of the plans because you know, she's. It would uh, be cool if we had a she's proposal sitting right on here. this show. You know? Yeah. Um, I can't give her any of the plans, but um, we've been dating for almost five months now, and she's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. We'll loan you a cushion for a knee pad. There you go. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, you know what Larry told us when we started the show? If you, if you dig yourself in a hole, you have to dig yourself back that's right. out you of the hole. That's a rule on this show. <laughs> She's still smiling, so she is. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> we haven't offended her yet, but it's it's early. <laughs> well, she also comes. I'm I'm one of nine kids, and she's one of seven, so she can defend herself pretty good. She oh, holds boy. her own. I bet she say. can. Yeah. So, I just I have to keep slapping myself. You Your go. name is Jay Coot. Yes, sir. When she gets married, does she become a hooter? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. we we joke all the time because her last name is Hoyt. H-O-Y-T. <laughs> so I was like, you only got to change one letter when you marry me. That's all you got to do. So there you go. I love it. I love it. Give us a song. Yes, sir. This is King of the Road. Ooh, I like King of the Road. Trailer for sale rent. Rooms to let 50 cents. No phone. Pool, no pets. Ain't got me no cigarettes, ah, but two eyes pushing brooms, buys an eight by twelve four bedroom. I'm a man of means, by no means, king of the road. Third box car, midnight train, destination banger, man. Oh, the worn out. In shoes. Don't pay me no union dues. I smoke old stogies. I have found short and not too big around. I'm a man of means by no means. King of the road. I know every engineer on every train. All of the children and all It ain't a lock when no one's around I sing trailer for sailor around Rooms to let 50 cents No phone, no pool, no pets Ain't got me no cigarettes I'm but two hours Pushing brooms, buys an eight by twelve Four bedroom, I'm a Cigarettes, I but two hours of pushing brooms, buys an eight by twelve four bedroom. I'm a man of means, by no means, king of the road. I'm a man of means, by no means, king of the road. Yeah. I love Roger Miller. I do too. I I grew up listening to him, and I don't scat like he does, but <laughs> I, I love listening to him. He, um, we just came re returned from Montana, uh -huh. and uh, Sam Bam, would you come here a minute? The uh, Sam view, Bam. the viewers remember Sam when he was a little guy. Yeah. Uh, Had his little apron he, on. Now he's got his arm in a sling. Yeah. What did you do to your arm? Uh, I got pinned behind a AT ATV type thing, and I popped my arm out. 
I think you two need to stay away from ATVs, quite frankly. <laughs> it was the same ATV. <laughs> that you had a wreck on. The reason I pointed that out, though, was that we just came back from Montana, and Roger Miller is reportedly to have said when he saw the beauty of Montana, well, imagine what God could have done if he'd have had money. <laughs> <laughs> That's Roger. Oh, boy. He had so many... Roger Miller isms. Mm -hmm. It's right off the top we, of his head. Let's get out of here. We'll be right back. Oh my goodness! I'm thinking about all the boobs I could buy with that forty-five hundred dollars. We'll be back right after this. And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Are we having a good time yet? I am. I am too. You having a good time, Jake? Oh, I'm having a blast. Okay, yes, that's all we need to know. Who are you talking to, Jake? From State Farm. <laughs> State from Jake Farm, yeah. That's good. Well, somebody, what you wearing, Jake? Somebody yeah. out there. <laughs> that is so good. I that was it. on last night. I love that commercial. And Luann said, and she turned it up, and she said, all right, Larry, listen to it again. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that one. Great some idea. Of, some of those uh, insurance commercials are just beyond me, but yeah. the one with the ostrich, I, I don't understand that. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. I just, doesn't make sense. Yeah. Jay Coot. Yes, sir. Tell me about The Voice. Um, it was an incredible experience. I had a blast. Um, when they had reached out and asked me to come and audition, I didn't even want to do it at first because I was just like, I don't, I'm good. I, I was working in radio at the time. I was yeah. playing music on the weekends. Um, and so I was just like, I'm all right. But then I was like, well, I mean, what could it hurt? And next thing I know, I'm, I'm winning the thing. And, mm. um, you know, it's just incredible God's timing and how he just kind of places you in different seasons of your life and yep. different things happen. And so it was a blast. I would, I recommend anybody go and do it. it. I mean, we had a great time and you meet so many incredible people throughout the whole process. Uh, who was your coach? Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, Claire, Kelly. Yes, sir. That's where do, I got this guitar. Do they really guitar. coach you or is that just... They do. They do. Um, you know, obviously you have your on-camera stuff where they sit and, you know, dialogue. But even then, Kelly is such a real person that oh, yeah. she talks to you just like she would off-camera. But then you have your off-camera stuff, too. And she, you know, gave me a lot of pointers. And that was one of the coolest things is how much you learn throughout that process. You know, even if I, I hadn't won or anything, how much I learned and took away from that experience mm. was incredible. For some reason, I thought Blake was your coach, but he wasn't. No, sir. He. Uh, no, he won. Like it better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Uh, uh, from what they told me is Blake wanted to turn around, but he Kelly he had blocked Kelly the day before, and so he didn't want Kelly blocking him because when he heard me sing, he was like, "Oh, that's a country singer. She's going to assume I'm going to turn." Um, but yeah, he but he's such a great guy too. He I mean, really I got to is. meet him backstage and stuff, and just all around everybody on that show. Not only the you know, the coaches and the other contestants, but even the people who are behind the scenes making it work, the camera people and making wow. it, everybody is so nice. That's something to be said for that, because that's the, uh, the guy that is the producer of that also produced The um, Apprentice. What was the, what's the guy's name? I don't know. Well, why not? You got Google. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the guy's name? <laughs> I read his book. It's an amazing book. But uh, the the voice has held up well. Yes, sir. The um, the ratings hold up and the people hold up. Yes, sir. Now, what do you win when you win the voice? Um, you win a recording contract and you win prize money. Um, for me, I was because I was in country. Um, I wasn't held to any of the contracts long term, so I'm already I was already out of their contracts within probably a couple months after the show, so I could kind of have freedom to. Yeah, you know, kind of establish myself and stuff. Why do they make a distinction between country if you're in country? Because you're you're signed to Republic um, Records, and and they just don't work with country artists, and so they they send you they they I don't think they're just set up for it is what they told me, and so, yeah. um, but they they I guess kind of shop you out to other labels and stuff yeah. like that, and so. Um, like I said, it was just God's timing, and you know I was kind of worried about it because I was like, man, I don't want to be stuck in a contract for yeah, right. years on end. And so, <laughs> um, but it worked out, and of course everything was flying high, and then COVID hit, and everything just kind of came to a, a halt there for a little bit. But you know, I, you just put your faith in God and just kind of wait to see what happens. But has that has that been a staple in your life? What's that? To put faith in God. Absolutely, yes, sir. I mean, I, you know. 
there are ups and downs in life. You know, you kind of go through hard seasons and hard times. And um, at times it's easy to, you know, sit there and question God and wonder what's going on. But um, if I've learned anything, especially over the last probably three years, it's that, you know, no matter what, just keep, you know, my eyes fixated on him and, Mm -hmm. you know, things are going to happen. It may not be in my timing, which, you know, makes me rely on him even more. And so, um, but yes, yeah, so or growing up as a missionary kid and growing up the way my parents raised us and stuff, I was very blessed to, you know, always be Christ centered and stuff yep. like that and everything. And so it was a great way to live. Well, the lady that's about to come into the diner will make you question God's wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you met Nadine? I don't think I have. Oh, boy. There she is. <laughs> 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 Is that from your store? No. Oh. Hi, hey, Nadine. Whoops, somebody's phone what ringing. You, I love it. I love it. What do you mean I, you would question your faith in God? When no, I, I said I'd here. question God's wisdom. <laughs> Not my faith in him. His faith in you, Nadine. Well... <laughs> So you stepped in it again, have you, Larry? <laughs> I, I'll try to think of something later. <laughs> How you doing, Jake? Hello. What you wearing, Jake, from State Farm? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're a hoot. That's what they're telling you, sir. I bet you've heard that. I bet you've heard that 5,423 times, haven't you? Give or take a few, yes, ma'am. Yeah, you yes, look ma'am. like you'd be fun, though. <laughs> Is he fun? Where's his girlfriend? Oh, there yeah. she is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. She looked right uh, at you, Ian. I got to tell you something <laughs> funny. I what? got to. I was. I was reading on you last night. Yeah. And um, when it said he he uh, was a missionary, my daddy was a preacher too. Okay. We know. We can. Me and Larry can. We can tell these people have <laughs> yeah. been preachers' kids. And, um, but anyway, it said you were gigging and then you played um, football for Tennessee Tech. Yes, ma'am. I don't think in musical terms. And I thought, huh, he's gigging. He must like frog legs like I do. (laughs) That's right. I I didn't know what gigging was. And then I thought, oh, no, that must be musical terms. Have you ever been frog gigging? I have been. Yes, sir. Yep. So he does. Oh, he, so you do. A, gig he's a double too. gigger. Yeah, he's yeah. a double yeah, gigger. Yeah, a double gigger. Yeah, <laughs> and, he's, exactly. and he's a golden eagle. Yeah. Tennessee State oh. golden eagle. Yes, sir. <laughs> golden eagle. Well, well, well. Well, I don't know. Is there anything to... politically incorrect about that? There sh- I'm sure I, there I'm is. Hoping they, they I'm hoping sure there is. I'm sure there is. Golden I, eagle. You can't say nothing anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm in Columbia. I can say whatever I want to. There, there you go. That's right. That's right. I don't have COVID, but I did have my patients tested. I'm negative. <laughs> and uh, is anybody else getting a starting getting a tan from the light in their refrigerator? <laughs> I, I noticed it the other day. I, I I had to go to my doctor and I asked him. I said, "When's this stuff gonna stop? When's this stuff gonna end?" He said, "I don't know, Nadine. I'm a doctor. I'm not a politician." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's Amen. good. Amen. That's but good. I tell you what, this mask stuff is getting to me. Mm-hmm. Masks are like buying a new bra. I mean, they're uncomfortable. I mean, you don't, you you, can't, you only wear them in public, and then people know if you're not wearing one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get them in every color, size, and pattern now. I hate them. I hate them. I don't like them. But I have found found out something. Growing tomatoes can take up growing homegrown tomatoes can take up three months of your life and you can save $2.17. There you go. <laughs> but they are good. They're really good. That's I like good. Them. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I never thought that that comment we used to make about, well, I wouldn't touch him or her with a 10-foot pole would become a national policy. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Minus four feet, I guess. <laughs> I think it was a six-foot pole back when we was going around. But anyway, I'm not adding this year to my life. I'm not adding this year to my age because I ain't used it. Yeah. <laughs> and me and Homer's getting along really well. You know what he told me yesterday? He told me, he said, Nadine, you just need to embrace your mistakes. Oh, boy. And so I went over and gave him a big old hug. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing good. 
<laughs> I'm going to put church sign up. And it's going to say? We can't always choose the music life plays for us, but we can sure choose how we dance to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's oh, yeah. good. Remember that, Paul. Oh, that's Remember that. Profound. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> I love that. Are we having thunders outside? Okay, so if I hear something rumble, it's not my stomach. It's not me. <laughs> Jay Coot, let's get another song. Yes, sir. Uh, this is a song called Dangerous Thing. Don't pretend to know the ways of love. Felt the heartache and the pain. He now to say beyond a doubt there'll be times you'd be better without. Well, let's be real, it just don't work that way. Once you feel it flowing through your veins, straight into your heart, it's too late, you've gone too far. So they say, Love. Fade through a fiery rain It'll get you When you least expect it Wreck you Just the same That's a chance I'd be willing to take With you, honey Love is a danger Love is a dangerous thing Velvet eyes look at me soft and sweet Stare too long, I'm bound to fall too deep Never hit the ground We both know it's a long way down Love is a dangerous thing Leap of faith through a fiery rain It'll get you it wreck you just the same that's a chance i'd be willing to take with you honey love is a danger love is a dangerous thing But faith through a fiery rain It'll get you when you least expect it Wreck you just the same That's a chance I'd be willing to take with you, honey Love is a danger, love is a dangerous thing Yeah, love is a danger Pete. That's PV, right? This is PV right here. Yes, sir. That's PV. Good to have you with us, PV. Yes, sir. Are you also from Honduras or, or Dominican Republic? Pickwick. <laughs> uh, That's real. Close. That's about as bad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much foreign country. Yeah. <laughs> they ask me when you go to the hospital to check with the doctor. They've been in the foreign country lately. I said, Bellevue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that counts. And that over there is, is Ben. Hello, Larry. How you doing? I love that twin guitar thing you had going there. Ben That's Hill. Cool. I, they're all. used. You know what? <laughs> you know why I do that? Why? I used to watch. Benny Hill? Benny. Hill. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I mean, that was the, the that oh, was funny. Oh, it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> ben Hill. 
Hall. And Hall. 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 <laughs> Is it going to be like this all day? It's going to be like this all day. Say, Thank that, you. That, that there guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good to have you with us again. I just, hmm, I need to shut up. Same thing happens to me all the time. And, 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 the, and Joe Case is shaking his head, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Get out of here. Go ahead. You know, I was sitting there wondering, what the heck are we doing with a paint stirrer from Lowe's here? Oh, maybe we'll find out. We'll be back. <laughs> hey! Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Did you see the special today? Today's what? special on the menu. The Cookful Flash Hot Wings served with atomic sauce fries and an ice cold drink of your choice and attempt to cool you down in honor of Jake Hoot. Oh, That's we right. love that. He's the most famous guy to come out of Cookful since me. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked you out first? That's right, they kicked me. He's gonna get his day too. <laughs> Jake, what do your mom and daddy think about your success? Um, I, I, they're very proud. Um, they love it. You know, coming from Baptist background, you know, uh, country music isn't as well, you know, received. Um, <laughs> but, you know, mom and dad, I, I, mom tells the story all the time about how when I was about, I think I was three or four, and I drank a cup of bleach that was sitting on the, the counter. Ah. And um, mom said that she remembers holding me and saying, God, if, if you just let him keep his voice, he'll, he'll use it for you. And so, wow. um, you know, there was... You know, there were times that, you know, music wasn't at the forefront of my, my brain, you know, growing up and stuff like that. But as I got older and, you know, as I saw how it impacted not only my life, but others around me and stuff, I just said, you know, this is this is where I need to be. And so my family has, you know, been very supportive of that. And, um, you know, being a, a single parent for a little while, I've got a five year old. Right. Um, you know, they they pitched in a lot to help me out anytime I had to be on the road and I couldn't take Macy with me and stuff. And so it's been great. Wow. Let me yes, tell sir. you something. We used to have Baptist preachers visit backstage at the Opry when I was there. Nobody had a better time than the Baptist <laughs> preachers. They loved every minute of it. I'm just saying. Absolutely. Yes, sir. <laughs> you think you had problems with the Baptist upbringing and country music? I was raised Pentecostal and it was in rock and roll music. There you oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to that rock and um, roll. This next song is a, is a song that I wrote. It's called Best Job I Ever Had, and it's actually about being a dad. Oh, um, good. And uh, it's one of my probably one of my favorite songs I've written. But here's the best job I ever had. Don't need no references. Don't need no resume. No experience necessary. Just learn along the way. No formal interview, no answer to an end. The hardest job I ever did was the best job I ever had. No job description, no training of any kind. You work nights and weekends and you don't make overtime. No paid holidays. If you get sick, it's just too bad. The hardest job I ever did was the best job I ever had. The best job I ever Told the nurse at the hospital I wasn't qualified How could I be responsible for somebody else's life? Then when you finally came it all changed just like that The hardest job I ever did was the best job I ever had this job I ever had is just to be your dad and give 
given everything I have to you. When I looked into your eyes, suddenly I realized I knew what I was meant to do. That's the truth. job I ever did was the best job I ever had. The hardest job I ever did was the best job I ever had. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Roger Miller showed up at the end of that song. Thank you. I, that's why I was telling, we were talking earlier about how he kind of felt where, you know, that landed. I was like, I feel like it's kind of a Roger Miller vibe-ish towards yeah. the end. Yeah. Yes, sir. When was the last time you heard somebody whistle during a song? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. A while ago. Yeah, just, just then, really. Yeah. Usually I, like I only do it if I forget the lyrics, and I'm like, oh, right? I'm going to throw a whistle break in here, you know, and do it, but uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry we didn't feed you some saltines before that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Get us out of here. We'll be right okay, back. Okay, we've got more Larry's Country Diner to go. So don't you go anywhere. Stay with us. Oh, welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. I understand we're going to fly away. Is that Let's right? do it. Fly away with Jake. Who? There he is. Some glad morning when this life is o'er, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away. When I I think PV learned that in the Baptist church. I don't think so. <laughs> Get us out of here. All right, Larry's Country Diner, we need one more thing. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we, we don't care. care. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was marvelous. <laughs>